how to add a frame around an image in Affinity Photo very quickly, PC or Mac. Go to the layer menu in Affinity Photo and create a new layer. Then go to the brush tool and I'm going to use a spray brush. You can of course change brushes via the brushes panel and apply a brush stroke. The color doesn't matter, so just apply it all the way around. Now a really good new tool in 2.2 .2 is you can hold down the shift key. So if you hold the shift key and it will draw it in a straight line. So just go like that and you can see now the brush stroke is applied in a straight line, which is quite useful when it comes to a frame. And again, apply it again down there. And you can apply it multiple times. Of course, you just go across. And as you do that, you can build up this frame, this sprayed frame. Again, it could be any brush stroke. You can see now you've got this pixel layer and you've also got the background. It could be any layer as well. But the pixel layer here, just go over to the blend modes and go from normal and all the way down to Arrays. So now it erases the underlying layer. You can see through. And with that, you can group it. So just select both, right click and group. Now with that, you can move it around. You can also add additional course to the actual frame layer. And you can see as you do that, you can see actually you can just cut away because of course that edge doesn't look great. And you can, of course, build it up very rapidly to remove it. But now you've got this frame effect very quickly. Now, of course, you could just apply white to the image or any color, of course, if you want to apply a color. But this means that you can actually go to the layer and tweak it at any time and apply additional effects. And also it cuts through that image. Now, what you can also do is you can load another image, say, so if you don't, up here, File and Place. And these are all Adobe Stock images. You can check out their Creative Cloud and Adobe Stock. You actually add this layer, this new layer, this place layer outside of the group. Because what I want to do is I want to do exactly the same as the other one. So now I'm just going to create another new layer. So Layer and New Layer. And do exactly the same. I'm just going to add some brushes around it. Again, just go over here, Brush Tool, and just Apply. Now you see at the moment, it seems to be modifying the one underneath. I don't want that, but I'm just going to quickly tweak it in a sec so you'll notice the change. Again, with this, I can go here to the blends and I can go all the way down here to arrays. Now it's still cutting through everything, which I don't want. But what you can do is again, you can select both of those layers and you can right click and you can group. And now you've got the frame actually not cutting through all the way through that bottom group. And you can move it around. So you just reposition it. You can say, oh, you know what? I want it over there. So you can build up all kinds of framed imagery very quickly. And you can move it around. And you can also rotate it and reposition it. And of course you can, if you want, decide, you know what? I want this group to be below the other one. So simply select the group and drag and put it below. Now you can reposition this one and you can see the same thing. You can actually see through that frame. You can move around and also you can just resize the group. So you resize it and you can build up quite a complex design of these frames. And of course you can make much nicer frames than that. Again, using any of the brush tools. Use the brush tool and go back to it. So here, just expand, select that and then apply again. And you can see as you cut away, you can see more of that underlying image. Also, what you can do is you can apply effects as well. Now you can apply effects to this pixel layer here. So go to filters and you can go say blur. So you can just go for a Gaussian blur. So you can blur the frame. You just blur it like that. Click apply. Also then, of course, you can go back to it and apply again. And you can see you can apply to get some of that blurring, but also you've got your additional framed brush strokes there. Now, if you want to bring back some of the imagery, you think, oh, I've just applied too much to your frame. Well, you can. What you need to do is go here and select the erase brush. So erase brush. Now, of course, you can use the same brush stroke. Now, it might not be set to that. So if you want to change brush, go to brushes and there's the brushes there but that's in the window 
and I've been using sprays. So you can go here, sprays and blatter, and you can just apply the same one as before. Now, whatever that one is, I'm just gonna apply one of these ones. So I select that one, and now I can apply, and you can bring back that original image. So you don't have to completely lose it. It is live, you can update it and tweak it to create sort of a, a burnt edge around that if you would, if you want. Also what you can do is you can go to layers, and you can select the entire group. So the entire group is selected and you can apply blur effects to that. So you can always go to filter and blur and Gaussian blur. As soon as you do that, the entire design, the frame, as well as the image is turned into a pixel layer. So click apply and you can see then that grouping is lost. You might not want to do that. If you don't want to do that, let's just undo that and keep the group. You can always blur it by simply adding a layer and go to new live filter layer blur and Gaussian blur and then just set the radius there and you can see you get a blurring effect but it's applied just to that group which you may want instead of applying it and turn it into a pixel layer select the group at any point and then go to effects and that adds some interesting texture so just click effects and you can go down here and select say 3d so 3D, you can then apply it and you notice then you get this nice modeling effect. So instead of just having your basic flat brush stroke frame, you've now got this lovely textured frame just applied using this bevel and bustle 3D or any of the others can be used to create interesting designs and click close. If you want, if you've got this pixel layer here, you can always duplicate it and then add it to the other layer. So let's just go here to layer and duplicate or just duplicate it. And with that duplicate there, you can then move that duplicate so you can reposition it and you can create some interesting additional effects with different, maybe a rotated design. You can see create, combine the brush strokes and frames. But also what you can do, you can decide, you know what? I want this pixel layer down here in this group. So let's just drag this down got the group here and I can go to this pixel and I can simply just drag this down into this group and then you can see it now in this group and this one is this image so I'm just going to select this one and you can move that around reposition it you can select this one move it around and reposition it and so on you can create all kinds of different designs and again just move that there and rotate it of course when you duplicate it it's actually duplicated here so you need to reposition it over here it doesn't get suddenly added into this area you can also scale the background so this image here you can then just select it you can move it around use the move tool and you can resize it so just reposition it maybe position it there but as you do that you'll notice what happens you've got this all appearing over here at this point of course you think oh well what can i do there i've got this part of the image I don't want to see. Well, simply go over here, select the brush tool again, and then apply. Now at this point, it's been applied to the group. I don't want that, so go there, apply it to the pixel layer. If you don't apply it to the pixel layer, it will not apply that erased effect. And again, you can see as I apply it, it cuts through again, and you can see the underlying image as well. But it also removes very quickly. Of course, you can do it a bit more skillful than that but i'm just quickly removing that frame and of course it does happen to tendency to leave that edge down there so you might want to apply obviously a slightly bigger brush or maybe use a different brush just to remove all these additional parts down here and once you've done that you've got your image again i say a bit more care to cut through there and again all those effects the style effects the bevel and the emboss etc are still being used so you can still see that texture if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Thank you much.